<laughs> Take this magical scroll. Kill the low burden. <laughs> they make my trees sick. And don't forget the queen. All right. Midland was burning, for Robar the Second was dead, his realm crumbling. His crown now rested on the brow of Robar the Third, once a champion of Enos, who has sworn to reunite the realm. Destiny seemed to smile on Robar the Third, and soon he claimed the entire continent as his own. But as he was setting sail to reclaim the southern islands, a shadow fell upon the king and darkened his mind. By the time his troops had landed on the island of Argon and taken Thorniara, the king's mind was no more than a flickering candle in the dark. The amulet? I... I must fight. 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 Robar's generals executed his orders to the letter. Lord Hagen led his men to the west of the island, while Lee headed east to lay siege to the royal city of Satarif. My king! I bring King's dire news. doing well and but advancing in the thorny Ara Gorge. Touches Sitaric population is possessed. The king's back. The king's back. I need peace and quiet. Quiet.
Come back! Come back and fight me! have nightmares again? Yeah, with the king in the cave. It's because you've been sleeping the whole day. Did you come here just to wind me up? No, my father's looking for you. Groma? What does he want? No idea. He's in a foul mood, though. He's waiting for you in the village. Hmm. Well, I'd better go and talk to him, then. What is it you're doing behind my back? Oh, you mean the... I can explain. Oh, really? I just want to learn something. Sure, and my sheep can dance. Stay away from my daughter. From your daughter? Oh, of course, we, uh, we want to stay modest until we get married. I, I want to become a decent man. You want to marry my daughter? I love her, and she loves me. <laughs> love. Before you marry Ivy, you'll need to pass three trials. It's a tradition in my family. Three trials? All right. What's the plan, then? Do you know where you can find Melgan's tomb? Melgan's tomb? Right behind Nut's farm. Right. Enter the crypt, take Milgan's dagger from his grave, and bring it to me. Wow. 
What did my father want? Test me. Test you? Yes. Have you told him about us? I'm not that stupid. Well, someone else must have told him about us then. What now? Now I'll recover Melgan's dagger from his grave so we can get married. You want to marry me? Don't you? Sure, it... it just comes so quickly. Who would tell your father about us? Auric, maybe. You told Auric about us? No, he saw us and we quarreled about it. Sorry, Shepard. I can't let you cross the bridge. I've got trouble with mole rats in my fields. Until I get rid of them, people are better off staying in the village. Gromar wants me to go to Melgan's grave. Ah, uh, Gromar. In that case, I'll let you pass. Well, I should think so. Listen, Shepard, I'll tell you what. What is it? I'll give you my club if you kill the mole rats on my fields. Then give it to me. I'll take care of the mole rats. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you back again? Did you slay the mole rats? The mole rats are dead and your fields are safe again. Hey. I would have expected a thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks. What do you want? What do you want?
Have you got the dagger? Here is Melgan's dagger. Hmm. Oh well. The first trial was the easiest anyway. What's the second one? You need to show you're able to protect Ivy. Do you want to fight me? No. Some smuggler seems to have settled down by the mountain lake. Drive him away from our island and bring me his weapon as a proof. The gate to the pond is closed. I'll need the key if I'm to take care of this smuggler. Sure, here it is. And now go. So what, Shepard? So what, Shepard? I tried to eavesdrop on you, but couldn't hear a thing. What does my father want now? He gave me the key you normally steal from his nightstand for me. Why? I am to drive away Diego from the island. But that's going to be difficult. I'll speak with Diego. Maybe he'll come up with something. Later, my dear. Later. Here you are again, my friend. How are your bruises doing? Not too bad. Oh, in that case, do you want to practice again? I'd like to, but 
But what? Gromar ordered me to drive you away from the island and bring him your saber as proof. Really? <laughs> hmm. Now why'd he want to do that? Oh, it's a trial or something. Before I marry Ivy. Well then, you've got a problem. Looks like it. What are we going to do now? I need to return to Argan soon anyway. Show me that you have learned something from me. And I will give you an old notched machete for Gromar. Let's fight! Not bad. I surrender. Oh, you're getting old. <laughs> Will you give me the machete now? Easy, easy, my friend. First you'll show me you can also fight against someone who doesn't wish you well. Who should I fight then? If you head down the path to the beach, you'll find some goblins skulking around my boat. They skedaddle every time I come near. And I'm too lazy to chase after them. Take care of them for me, and I'll give you the machete. I caught the goblins. They are dead. Ah, now my friend, you really proved you know your business. So you'll give me the machete now? Yes, here it is. Send my best to old Gromar. Oh, you better not. After all, you've driven me away from the island. <laughs>
What about that smuggler? Did you drive him away? I drove the smuggler away. Here's the proof. Hmm, not bad. But don't get your hopes up too soon. One trial is still to be passed. What is it? You have to prove to me that you can provide for Ivy. So I want you to hunt three big and strong deer, and to bring their antlers to me as a proof. I have no bow. Can you lend me one? No. After all, you have legs and a machete. In my time, we had to slay boars with our bare hands. Hmm. I'll manage then. We'll see. I told Ivy to open the gate to the deer thickets for you when you're done with the smuggler. Just go see her. So, did Diego give you the machete? He did. I've already shown it to your father. What did Diego ask of you for it? He wanted me to kill some goblins. And that's what I did. You fought goblins? Really? That's right. Now I need to hunt a few stags. How are you going to accomplish that? I'll chase them until they drop. Oh, <laughs> I'd like to see that. You're a huntress, aren't you? Can't you give me your bow? I can't give it to you. It'd be against the rules, but... <laughs> I accidentally left it inside the hunting blind. You can go fetch it there. Thanks, Ivy. Wait, I'll unlock the gate for you. Have fun with the stags. And if you run out of arrows, come and see me. I'll slip you some.
Did you bag the deer? They are the antlers. Are they magnificent enough? Yes, they are. Then I have your blessing. You do. Here, take this relic as a sign of my consent. What kind of relic is it? Many years ago, my grandfather brought it here from Argan. They say there are many more there like this one. He who finds them all will achieve glory and riches. Whenever my grandfather talked about it, he had a big grin on his face. Oh, yeah? Well, nobody will ever manage to find all the relics on Argan. After all, one of them's here in Fesher. You do, but you'll have to do one more thing. Another trial? No trial, my son. You'll need an engagement bangle for Ivy and her consent. A bangle? Hmm. I guess I should talk to Holwyn about it. Maybe he can help me. You do that, my son. So did Gromar consent at last? Yes, he just did. Well, congratulations. All I need now is an engagement bangle for Ivy, but I can't afford one, actually. Speak to Auric. He found some amber on the beach a couple of days ago. Get some from him, and I'll make you a bangle. You do that? Sure. What are friends for? What do you want? Is it possible that Gromar sent you to Melgan's grave too? What makes you think that? Someone ignited a jar of Galwag oil in the crypt to drive the mole rats outside. Don't you use the oil to chase away the wild animals from your fields? What if I do? Stay away from Ivy Nut, or you'll regret it.
everything all right? Auric, I heard you found some amber on the beach. Yes, Shepard. Beautiful amber. Could I get it off you? To keep? Yeah. I need it for an engagement bangle for Ivy. Auroch is a servant and trader. So? Trader Auroch wants gold. I have none. Servant Auroch wants to be a master. What do you mean? The shepherd will be Auroch's servant. Then Auroch gives the shepherd the amber for free. I see. What should I do for you? Auroch likes blue toadstools. They grow in a cave with a door in the middle of the deer thickets. Auric always goes to pick mushrooms himself, but now Auric has a servant. The servant takes the key and brings six blue toadstools. Yes. Give me the key. I'll get you the blue toadstools. Run, servant, run! Aurochs hungry! Three stacks. Hard to believe.
everything all right? Ah, servant. Where are the mushrooms? I don't have any yet. The master's hungry. The servant runs. Quick! Quick! Where are the mushrooms? Here are the blue toll stores. I found them. Good servant. Quick servant. How about the amber? Can't have it, Shepard. Halwyn might make something nice with it for the young lady. 
Good day, Shepard. Have you got the Ember? Here's the Ember. Excellent. I've already prepared everything. I'll just put the Ember into its setting. So that's it. Satisfied? Good work, Holwyn. Looks quite precious. Nervous? Yeah, a little. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. She's pregnant. She won't say no. What? Uh, she hasn't told you yet then. Ivy's pregnant? How? Didn't you, uh, know what I mean? Yes, but... Well, then you shouldn't be surprised. Here, take the bangle and go see her. You'll be all right. Oh, there you are. Are you pregnant? Who told you? Holwyn! The idiot! So you really are? I've always wanted a baby, haven't you? Yes, but that... it's all so sudden. Fair enough. Was there anything else you wanted from me? Your father gave me his blessing. And I have an engagement bangle here for you. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. You will? I will. One condition, though. What condition? Promise me that we'll travel to Argon right after the wedding. But you're pregnant! That's the point! Before I become as round as a ball, I'd like to experience a real adventure and leave this barren island. Then I should talk to Diego. Hurry, he was going to leave better for good. Nut, what do you want? Smack you in the mouth because of Ivy. You really think you can? You asshole. I'll finish you off. Well then, let's fight. I'll turn you into a sheep. Stop, stop. You win. Leave Ivy alone. Do you understand? Yes, sure, yes. I'll leave her alone.
what's up. With a grin like that on your face, Gromar must have given you his blessing. That he did. Then let me in on it. Ivy wants to go with me to Argan. There is a war going on, my friend. That's no place for lovers. When you started to teach me, you promised to bring me to Argan one day. Back then, you were going to travel alone. Now Ivy wants to accompany you. You are a good teacher. I am absolutely capable of protecting her. You are able to protect her? <laughs> Prove it. I defeated you in a duel and killed the goblins, remember? I was nice enough to let you win, and the goblins were just goblins. In a real fight, you wouldn't have much of a chance. So prove to me that you can protect Ivy, and I'll take both of you to Argan. Do you want to fight me again? No. I have a bundle of rare herbs here for Lyrka. Take it to her. You want me to go to Lyrka? The witch? I... I'd have to cross the dark forest. They say the wildest animals on the island live there. You don't have to go. You can stay on Fesher with Ivy and herd sheep. Give me the bundle. I'll take it to Lyrka. All right, here you are, and here's a key, too. Use it to open the door at the end of my cave. Go east until you find a path. Follow it to the northwest. It will lead you to Lyrka's hut. Afraid of Lyrica, the witch from the dark forest. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Might be, might not be. My nose is telling me. Might be. Diego sent me. Yes, I know. <laughs> I bring you herbs. Give them to me. 
Here are the herbs. I'll leave then. Leave? No. You aren't here just because of the herbs. Diego didn't mention anything else. Didn't he, eh? But he promised he'd send you. Yes, he surely did. Why would he? <laughs> because I asked him to. You? Why? Because I sensed something right after they found you. Something that must be awakened. Sensed? Something that must be awakened? I don't understand any of this. Something slumbers in your chest. Some power. Some magic power. <laughs> Nothing I know of. Yes, yes. I can sense it. It must only be awakened. How? Just close your eyes. Good. I trust you. See, I'm I'm closing my eyes. Yes. That's very good. Again. How long have I been sleeping? Oh, a couple of hours. <laughs> what? The awakening of magic takes its time. Can I cast spells now? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe only make use of magical scrolls. Where are we here? In a cave, under the dark forest. I... I know this cave. From your dreams? Yes, that's right. <laughs> what are we doing here? Want to do me a favor? A favor? Loam vermin are everywhere in this cave. Loads of them, eh? Steel alone won't suffice if you're planning on killing them all. Loam vermins retract into their shells, just like turtles. <laughs> but you can prevent that using lightning, eh? With lightning? Here. <laughs> Take this magical scroll. Kill the loam vermin. <laughs> they make my trees sick. And don't forget the queen. All right, I won't. If you don't have any more scrolls, come to me. I will give you new ones. <laughs> but don't you waste them.
Come with me, my friend. I will take you to Argan. What do you intend to do now? Avenge myself upon Robar the Third and his cursed paladins. You wouldn't know a sword from a toothpick. They'd mince you. You want Ivy's death to go unavenged? And what about that of my mother and my friends? No, but what if there was a way to avenge yourself without storming right into your death? Hmm. Let's hear it. It is said that there is an ancient temple somewhere in the mountains. They say there is a blessed anvil there. Robar's paladins search for the temple because they want to use the anvil to forge weapons for their campaign against Argan. I see. And I should interfere with their plans. Exactly. And if the anvil really does exist, Forge yourself something to speed your vengeance. Where should I start looking for the temple? On the hill back there, in the Cleaved Maiden Tavern. You'll find a mage by the name of Duranis there. He knows a lot of the old stories. Talk to him. Maybe he'll have heard of the temple.